Well, I don't want to hear it. She gave me a schematic to a masterpiece. Thank you, Mickey. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. At this point, I just stop paying attention to what I pick up. <laughs> I just pick it up, and I take care of it later. Okay, I did ask for a bit of diversity when it comes to dead bodies, but, uh, yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of them. Oh, my God. something explodes and better enemy is next to it it does the damage to it I did not notice that before The fire attacks are working on a rage demon because it's the well, fire. It's made out of fire itself. <laughs> Let's do two bodies again. It's supposed to be immune to fire attacks because it's literally made out of fire. That that terror demon is coming after me again. And it blew up and it, it hit the other two. <laughs> Body parts everywhere. So it was like a, it was like an explosion. It was a really massive explosion. It went off. Or one died and it, it blew up and then it blew up the other two. <laughs> It was very sudden. It was very sudden, and it, it kind of scared me. <laughs> it was right in my face too. race and they killed the other two.
that, that explosion had a, a wide range to it. I want to go over here first. Okay. That's what makes it right. Ah. I think that's a deer of some sort. I, oh, I bet you it represents one of those. It's a very rare species. It's not actually very commonly found or even commonly known. But uh, there's a type of deer called an albino deer. It's basically a white deer. Because albino means white. And I believe that's what these hollow represent. So the other wolf got away. Uh, yeah, I've never actually seen albino deer. Uh, I've seen pictures of them before, but I've never actually seen one. I don't think they live around here though. I don't think they live in America. Now, uh, this treasure map I just got, uh, uh, this one right here. I have no idea where this is now. I thought this was the river that was by the Danish camp because, uh, look at this, uh, front of this, this rock right here from this, and, but Unfortunately, there's no deer statues by where the Dutch camp is. This rock formation is exactly the same rock formation at, uh, by the Dutch camp, but what well, there is no this. So makes me wonder where that's at. You go do something. Stop whining about it and go do something. Do knit. I don't think he gets the comms out of Grey Wardens. <laughs> That's not how it works.
No, he did ask a stupid question, so you ask one in return. The funny thing is, is when Cole asked that stupid question, back wall shut up. Let's take a bunker. This is a bunk bed, set so, uh, weapons. Oh, I know where this is. This is where wooden glyphs were. find the horrors, you will find the body pits. Speaking of which, there he is, he's right there. Let me tell you what the, uh, the arcade cores are. <laughs> if I did not tell you anyway. Uh, if I did, then I don't remember, but I'm gonna say anyway. The arcade cores are actually pride demons that have perfected, that taken over the bodies of dead mages. So these archaic horrors are actually a pride demon inside a, a dead man's body. That does explain why and how we can uh, summon corpses. Because you know, mages can use necromancy. Oh, damn it! You had to move. You had to move, didn't you?
That's one. That's two at this part, depending on how big it is. The one I uh, say, the one that I talked about before is up that island. It's over there. Just uh, across this bridge. It's over there. There's actually three of them. I think. I mean, wait, wait, let me guess. Let me think. Could be wrong. No, there's two. Okay. There was three for a second. This is like, wait a second, wait a second, what am I thinking? I just took that Ford over and I just <laughs> could go off right around. Yeah, that's one. Don't give them in incorrect information. I could. I did right now, I was hurt. Doing that, that Templar thing, you know, when I was recruiting the Templars, at least showing you the, the quest and all that. Well, uh, I uh, mentioned that when we were in the faith with the Envy Demon that there was uh, four those, uh, those inscriptions we can pick up which give you information about the Envy Demon. I told you that there was four of them, but it's actually just there were three. I thought there was four, but there was actually three. It not only gives you information about the MP Demon, but it also gives you upgrades and cutting strength and agility, density. I think it's called density in this one. Yep, so like I said, there's a, it's not a floor up here, which it does, it is claimed by the regions, but uh, they're having a bit of a problem with the undead. <laughs> uh, they just came out of nowhere and just like took over the place. Luckily, there's still some illusions that are, are still alive, we have to take them. Anyway, find the other, okay, what's the other, what's the second one? I guess rank or something. Where are you? Your knife is big. <laughs> it's a sword. It's bigger than mine. And now you've made it awkward. Uh, okay. Uh, you do realize that you, you carry daggers, right? They're uh, cold. other uh, corpses that were nearby. I do like that read, that explosion radius. I can't believe I didn't notice it before.
guess I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, let's go blow the horn. Where is the horn? This is a big place, so... Even though I saw it a couple of times, I kind of forgot where it was. Oh my goodness. These people got charboiled. Burned alive. Turned into charcoal. Oh wow, it's up to 11 already. I'm sure flies when you're having fun. Oh, the battery in my, uh, your name just died. <laughs> it does. It does make a, a little beep. It beeps at me when the battery is about to die. But I was not paying attention. I have to wear my hearing aid or I won't be able to hear what they're saying. I'll put that on the charger in the morning. Alright. Pick up hearing uh, what people have to say. Let's head to this fort over there. Uh, I've done taking back forts. Okay. Do that, Kenny. You know, do you think he would be smart enough to remove all these arrows and weapons <laughs> just sticking out like that? You know, you could use them instead of just having them sit there.
it's been a very painful day. First, you can read their feelings even after they're dead. I thought you could only do it when they're still alive. I'm gonna finish up uh, what I need to do here in the plains, and uh, that's what going to be now. Of course, as a first time, this is here in the plains. I did start uh, recording. Uh, hour late third than I wanted to because I had a really bad upset stomach and I was on the toilet for a while so yeah I won't go too much into detail about that but that's why I didn't start when I wanted to start when the sun set it was only a little bit after eight but unfortunately because uh, from an upset stomach, I'll just kind of have it. I could just walk up those stairs, but they take forever to walk up the stairs. And in the next recorded session, I'll be going to Crestwood. Anyway, let's go deal with these creatures that are attacking this world. Okay, another horror is some more corpses. I was about to say, combat frozen again. Aim for the eyes. These corpses don't look like they have eyes.
five out of seven. Okay. It's a people's levels up. Alright, what's that thing? Be cold. I wish they start putting points into this assassination. Uh, ass not assassination. Assassin. So, alright, we're looking at revival now. Yes. Alright, and these spell. This is how you're going to revive your teammate without having to walk up to them. What if they're under the foot of a dragon? You don't want to get squished by a dragon trying to revive your person. 